today as part of AIB's The Future Project. We're having a chat with Barry McKiernan, a 23-year-old actor. Having been born in Dublin, Barry has strong roots in both Leitrim and Longford and his work has taken him all over Ireland, including a tour as part of the play The Importance of Being Earnest. He's also spent time in Galway working on the feature film Paper Rich as well as a number of theatre productions. Barry joins us on the line now to have a chat about his work as an actor as well as his future career aspirations. So, Barry, thanks a million for chatting to us this evening. You're quite experienced in the acting world at a relatively young age. So can you tell us what sort of work does it really take to make it in the industry and what kind of challenges have you faced along the way? Well, I suppose I have like a, a fair bit of experience under my belt now, but I've only actually been acting for three years. So it's it's still like I'm still learning a lot and, you know, kind of it's kind of one of those careers you kind of just very much learn as you go. Um, I suppose the most important thing really for me was to like to start training as an actor. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, I want to be an actor, I want to be an actor, but out of the 100% of people who say that, only 1% go to train, you know. And then out of the 1% who go to train, I'd say like less than 1% get any work, you know. So it's, it's a huge, it's a hugely challenging career like choice. So you really have to want it, you know. Okay, and as you said, you are still quite young and haven't only done it for three years. I imagine you have a lot of time left in the career ahead of you. But from the experience you've had so far, and especially working on Ireland, what are the kind of main challenges or the hardest things you've had to deal with in the past three years? I suppose um, the hardest thing is kind of getting your name out there and being seen like by the industry and by important people in the industry is, is the number one challenge for most actors. Um, it's very hard to get yourself on stage in the first place and then it's also very hard to get the casting directors, agents and stuff like that to take an interest and come in to see you, you know, so it's, I mean, you can be doing very well, like doing a lot of work and stuff like that, but unless kind of the right people see you at the right time, it can be, you know, you're kind of just hitting a brick wall all the time, so that's very frustrating, like when, when you're doing a show and it's going great and you have a great part in it or you've done um, a small TV project or something and then you've done it and you think that it's going to leave something else and then a lot of the time it doesn't and you just kind of have to keep knocking on doors so getting getting seen by the right people and you know networking is is a big part of it but it's also what well, i find the hardest part of it you know okay and just as a matter of interest then what would you say is uh, your favorite the favorite you know performance you've done or part you've played uh, in your time in acting i suppose my favorite performance was I did a play, a Woody Allen play, um, called God and Death, where I played a character called Kleinman, and he's kind of just a very kind of neurotic, fidgety, kind of nervous guy. It was a, it was a comedy play, so like comedy is kind of where I, I feel most comfortable. So um, yeah, that was a, that was a brilliant experience to do that because it was I was literally on stage for the for the entire performance, had no exit, so it was kind of like a roller coaster. Once once the once the lights were up, that was it. You know, I was down like. There was no, there was no escaping backstage or anything at any point in the show. So that was a really good experience for me, just as an actor, to to have that responsibility and to really have to, um, really have to focus like on a, on a on a part like that because you can't you can't slip up because you let everyone down if if you're not prepared and stuff. So I'd say that the, that was my favorite part of doing so I suppose. Okay, and as you think about your future career, then where do you see yourself in five or ten years' time, and kind of how do you plan to get there? Um, well, I've recently got accepted into the National Academy of Dramatic Arts. So they take 16, 16 actors a year, uh, eight guys and eight girls. So I was lucky enough to get a place there. So I'm going to be there for the next three years training and networking. And then I hopefully, when I graduate from there, I will, I'll be, I'll be 20, I think I'll, be, I'll just be gone 26. So from there, I plan on, you know, just really kind of like, selling myself here for the theatres and TV work and stuff like that so five years time it's kind of hard to say because like in this industry one day could change everything for you you know so it's, it's, it's better to kind of focus on the present and the work you're doing at the moment because anything with this can, can just change in a day you know but hopefully hopefully I'll be working <laughs> Well, Barry, the very best of luck to you. And it's been great chatting to you this evening. Thanks a million for coming on to talk to us. Really appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks very much. That's all for this evening's feature as part of AIB's The Future Project. Stay tuned to iRadio to hear more from up-and-coming talents from all around the region. With AIB The Future Project, Allied Irish Bank PLC is regulated by the Central Bank of Ireland.